You guys ready to get yeah. started? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's talk about SMT5. As always, we start with the development of the game, and we go all the way back to January 2017 when SMT5 was announced for the Nintendo Switch. Do you guys remember this? How pu- Loud and clear. Were you pumped? Dude, I did, like, there was no scheduled timeline or anything. I think it was just like a title screen. Mm-hmm. They just showed the title SMT5 and like I think they showed like maybe a cinematic trailer of just like angels and demons like descending. But I was stoked. I had come fresh off of four and four apocalypse. I think I had finished those even prior to the Switch release. And then just time went by and we weren't getting any word of SMT5. And it's just like, is this game even still being made? Like became a question. Five years it took after that. I think, oh no, four years, I guess. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So within the year 21, uh, like towards, I think it was like November or December it got the release. Yeah. I don't think it even got announced again until like a late 2020 trailer or an early 2021. Mm-mm. So I do remember the first trailer and I remember just kind of suspending like, okay, it's going to come out. Maybe I, it would be amazing if it does. And I can't wait to once it finally got confirmed alongside the SMT3 Nocturne remaster, just being like, oh, hell yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through Nocturne and get ready to slice some demons and recruit them too. Yeah. Yeah, same here. I remember the announcement, and I thought it was a really good move to put it on the Nintendo Switch, because what better platform than the Nintendo Switch to play these types of long, you know, methodical, uh, very complex, if you, I mean, to an extent, RPGs. Uh, I think it was the perfect system for it, uh, the perfect match, and I was really happy to hear that. That was during the first year, I believe, of the Nintendo Switch, so it was a really cool announcement. Yeah, and that that's one thing when you're like with the Switch, you're like, well, it doesn't have many games now, but it's going to have SMT5 <laughs> at some point. It'll yeah. be my SMT5 device. Uh, I, remember, oh, I agree with you. Oh, so no, you go first. And then well, I'll call I remember looking at the trailer and just being like, you know, as an SMT fan, I'm sure a lot of SMT fans would agree that the, the trailer it doesn't have to show you anything because... You kind of know what an SMT game is. It's not like they're going to throw you a curve. I mean, they could. But it's not like, in general, they're going to throw you a curveball and they'll be like, oh, it's a first-person shooter now. It's kind of this thing. Yeah, as an SMT fan, you know there's going to be demons. You're going to be a kid. And you're going to go through a big world. Like, that's kind of the bread and butter of it. So I didn't need to see a lot. And they didn't really show you a lot. Yeah, I think they just showed you, like, like demons in the sky doing stuff. You're like, oh, I'll probably kill all those. <laughs> and, then, and be friends with all those at the same time. So, no, I was super, super pumped, and I, I was, it became my reason to get a Switch, honestly. That's my one thing, though, is, like, the Nocturne game came out on PS4 and Steam as well. Wouldn't you guys like to have seen this one on a couple more platforms? I'm 100% sure this will come out on PC, at the very least. Yeah, I'm always of the mindset, more platforms, the better. But um, like I said, as many platforms, well, now there's the Steam Deck as well. So even with PC, you can play it on the Steam Deck or whatever. But I just think these types of games are so much suited for portability in mind because you can, you know, you can go on the go and continue your long adventures or, you know, when you're at home, you can play it in dock mode. So it's just that perfect match. I think there's a time and place for it because I could make a separate argument for PS4 being the home platform for a game like SMT. When I played through Nocturne, quite frankly, the performance was better on PS4. And I think there are a couple noticeable dips on Switch. For instance, if you do a demon fusion and then once the demon gets fused, it's actually a little blurry before the demon comes into full light. Yep. Uh, so, you know, some graphical infidelities, then also, for a game like SMT that's so much about recruiting demons and getting all the endings, like there's a big incentive for completion. I think the PS4 with the trophy system tends to build that incentive in a little more naturally for completing the game. I agree with all of that. And I will add, my, the only caveat to them putting it on PC and slash PS5, PS4, 
is I would prefer it if I got a graphical overhaul. But I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get an upscale. But I'll take it. But I, but it, honestly, it's it, it's kind of a drag to know that you have a like beast of a hardware and you're playing it with PC or with the Switch specs. The share button on PS4 that's another feature. Also on a computer, like it's you know really easy to just get gameplay at any time. Doesn't seem like a game that would you know take a toll on your computer by being too you know intensive. Although the engine's pretty good, we'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. It's unreal. <laughs> it's pretty unreal, dude. 